In this tutorial for LabVIEW with Mindstorms NXT, we're going to be having a look at the NXT tools and applications, and in particular the NXT terminal and the NXT remote. Now, one of the main reasons why you might need to go to the NXT terminal is because of the sort of error we're about to have here, where we've uh, got a program here and we tried to download it and we've got this message, NXT device is out of memory. Don't you just hate that? Uh, so there's a couple of suggestions here and what it involves is going to the tools menu and selecting NXT tools and then NXT terminal and that will come up with a window here that will give us the name of the NXT currently connected to the computer so we've got Fred connected here and I'll show you the battery level I'll give you the option to update the firmware and down at the bottom here we can see all the files currently on the NXT brick and how much is used and uh, out of how much space altogether. Now one of the easiest options if we are targeting directly to the NXT is we could get rid of this NXT shell. That's a file that uh, LabVIEW puts on there when we're uh, targeting to the computer and that's a file we can get rid of now. Uh, because we're actually targeting to the NXT brick. So we can just select that and then delete file. Uh, the defragmenting button here is also another option as well. Uh, usually the one of the main offenders for taking out lots of space are these RSO files. So these are the sound files that someone's left on here uh, from before. Uh, in fact, I need them for this program, so uh, they're going to have to stay there for now but that should have freed up enough space that we can run our program. While we're here, uh, it sh it's worth noting the renaming. Just the simplest clicking rename, typing in the new name, uh, and hitting rename, and that's changed it on the NXT. A couple of other things under tools and applications. Under applications, there's the piano player, which is basically the same, I think, as the old piano player from Robolab. Uh, one of the new ones is the NXT remote. The NXT remote control, uh, you'll see here, gives us a screenshot of the NXT, and you can see there the change name Eddie that I just put in, and we can actually move around here using these buttons. Um, sometimes it's not wonderfully responsive, but it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, and it might be useful for presentations and that sort of thing. And that's it for this tutorial. Have fun exploring the NXT applications and tools.